Okay, on to the next lesson. So click on my dashboard. Learning path. Continue learning path on introduction to CAD and then go to your introduction to 2D drawings. Okay, so last time we were at creating views. So we did this last exercise. This time uh, we're going to be looking at notes. So watch the video on notes on how to do a call out, how to create tables, how to create bill of materials and call outs. And then let's do this exercise. So again, it's important for you to watch all those videos before you do the exercise. It will help you. Okay, so for this exercise, we need to create an assembly drawing, insert the bomb table or the bill of materials, and add callouts to the view. Okay, so it calls us to open this drawing and then make a copy. Okay, so let me split up the screen. All right, make a copy. Okay, done with slide one, slide two. Navigate to the top level assembly named Universal Joint Assembly, which is down here. It's the third one, one, two, three. Universal Joint Assembly, and then open the bomb table or the bill, the bill of materials, which is this. Click, and then let's extend this so that you can see. To add the part name as a column to the table, click Add Column right here, and then choose Name. Okay, and then we want to move this over here. So right click, move to the left, right click, move to the left again, until it's uh, next to the item number. So item number, then name. All right, next slide. Step three, select the plus sign and create a drawing. So create drawing. Slide four, we'll have to choose this one, the first one. No views, okay. Next slide. So insert an isometric view of the universal joint assembly. Be sure to click on the assemblies option on the dialog. Okay, so first we look at the assembly. So right here, it says Part Studio. So click here where it says Assemblies. Click on Universal Joint Assembly. And then instead of uh, putting the view orientation as front, we need to change that to isometric. And then we need to change the view scale to 1 is to 2. Okay, and then click. Let's put it at the left. So next slide. Okay, right click on the tab and select rename and rename it Universal Joint Assembly. So rename. All right, next slide. Uh, we want this to be shaded. So we've done that in the previous videos. So right click, show shaded view. There you go. And then Change the tangent edge display, right click again and select tangent edges phantom. So tangent edges phantom. Okay, so there you go. Let's move on to the next side. To insert the bill of materials table from the assembly, select insert bomb or the bomb table, which is this one right here. Okay, click on that and then uh, make sure that the bomb type is flattened and then the order is top to bottom. So the headings are going to be at the top and then it goes to the bottom. And then the, the fixed corner would be the second option where the fixed corner is going to be at the top right of the drawing sheet. So click here. And there you go. Next. Okay, so drag the midpoint grip, so click at the table, and then drag this midpoint till it goes here, then adjust the column widths. So normally we don't want words to be cut out like this, so we make adjustments, so just drag, so the, the word quantity, 
and then part number and also the part numbers we want it to be like in one line okay and it's not cut I think this is good move on to the next slide uh, now we're gonna add callouts and we're gonna click on the callout tool okay so let's do that first so click on the callout tool and then um, so we don't want it to be table item number so let's delete that so hit uh, backspace or delete and then click here and then put part name and for the second piece to the right of that field put type X and then let's put a space and then right here we want it to be the quantity and then down here where it says circle the border shape we want it to be underlined okay so now we just have to point at the five items that we could see here okay because there's five here in the bill of materials so we just need to click on five unique items here so let's click on this one first click drag so that's the universal joint axle and there's four of them okay there's one two three four but you just need to uh label one Okay, click here and then drag. This is the pan head machine screw. And there's 16 of that. Let's click on this one. That's the universal joint center block. There's only one. So let's click on this. Let's click on this. This is the universal joint flange. And then there's two of these. And then let's zoom in see this piece right here and let's put it here okay and then hit check and then you can make adjustments by the way so there you go I just organize it uh, better and then this one I just delete that I made a mistake there okay next side Okay, so I just did all of it already. Click on the next one, completed drawing. This is the completed drawing. Go ahead and take a screenshot. And then once again, send this to Alvarico J at mdusd.net. I need to see your name and I need to see the completed drawing.